Metro Atlanta, home to nearly 4 million of us now. It is our vibrant, exciting, diverse, and growing region. It is Coca-Cola, CNN, the busiest airport. It's the Braves, the Falcons, and the High Museum of Art. It is Buckhead and Fayetteville, Conyers and Douglasville, and so much more. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Metro Atlanta, the shape of things to come. The Atlanta Regional Commission's 50 Forward Initiative to explore how residents would like to live, travel, and work in the next half century is now in full swing. In this show, we'll explore how Metro Atlantans can live clean, green, and within their natural resource means in the future. small steps that each of us can take to sustain our beautiful area for future generations. One Georgian speaks eloquently about why he is passionate about creating balance and protecting what is special about this place we call home. Chuck Lavelle, Georgian, tree farmer, sustainability advocate, and keyboardist for the Rolling Stones. Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Chuck genuinely cares about protecting what's valuable today and leaving it better than we found it. From his farm near Macon to Peachtree Street and across the globe, Chuck Lavelle speaks passionately about finding a balanced approach to living that will sustain our natural resources and our vibrant and diverse communities for generations to come. My wife comes from a long line of, of people that are connected with the land. When some land fell to her from her grandmother in 1981, I took it as a responsibility to do the right thing by the land, you know, to learn about it, to learn what is the right thing to do and how should we proceed. So we're going to have growth in this country no matter what. And in the world, we're going to have growth. You know, the population continues to increase, and, and there's a pressure on our natural resources. Now, to me, the question is, is the growth that we're going to experience going to be rapid, rampant, and reckless? Or is it possible that we can have growth that is strong and smart and sustainable? And hopefully it's the latter. Let's find the right places to, to put our growth, and let's also look at growing vertically, and let's look at public transportation. Well, maybe you build little communities within the Atlanta area where you have uh, your grocery store and your butchers, and you have your, the place to go get a haircut or whatever it is in, in, in a fairly centralized location so that you can stay within that community for the most part. When you need to get out of it, you get out of it. But if you have those services within a walking distance or a reasonable short ride with public transportation, that, that can take a, a lot of pressure off the situation. That concern for livable communities and the vibrant, beautiful, and diverse offerings of our part of the world bring this talented Georgian back home time and time again. Protecting our unique character and developing with care and thought is vital to our future success. You know, I can remember as a boy coming over from Alabama in the 60s, it would have been around the mid-60s, and the car tags read, City of a Million People. And we were all, wow, the South has a, a city that has a million people. That's amazing. Well, now it's, what, five million. And Atlanta has so much to offer. Uh, Georgians and others that travel through the city. It's, it's a great city to come to for conventions. It's a great city to come to for recreation. Uh, gosh, I've been involved in so many wonderful concerts in Atlanta, either with the Rolling Stones or Eric Clapton or Allman Brothers Band or whoever. It's a great cultural city. It's a, it's a great uh, music and, and arts uh, center. So uh, again, I think the focus needs to be on how you grow and how you manage uh, the issues that uh, affect that growth and just do it carefully and smart. I think it's, it's essential that we um, do everything we can to look at the, the new transportation technologies, new building technologies, green building, eco-friendly building and transportation. It's a combination. There, there's no single silver bullet that's going to save the planet, is there? You know, it's common sense. It's people working together, people 
using their knowledge uh, and their, uh, you know, responsible way of living uh, to conserve, and it's also human beings exploring new technologies to help more efficient, find more efficient energy usage in this country. And each of us in our own way can contribute to sustaining a high quality of life for our region. It takes creating a clear vision, having the passion to follow our goals, and finding just the right balance between what's good for today and what will ensure a high quality future for new generations. I'm passionate about my family, I'm passionate about music, and I'm passionate ab about uh, the environment. And absolutely, it's all about balance. And uh, I think you do the best you can in balancing your life and, and your goals and your family. You know, I want my grandson, Miles, to be able to enjoy not just Shoreline Plantation, but all of Georgia. I want him to be able to go to the mountains and see the beautiful, pristine countryside we have there. I want him to be able to go to the coast of Georgia and still have it be in a pristine state. So, you know, I, I'm hopeful. I think that we can do these things. I believe that uh, human beings working toward a goal, you know, we put the man on the moon, didn't we? And, and we brought him back safely. And uh, if we can do that, I think we can do just about anything.